We're going to go this way. Okay. If, okay. if you're a guy in a suit, you can go in. But if you're a woman with a peace message, you're locked out. So the police were coming here before us, went in and told them, and they just locked their door. So, you know, think about this. These are representatives who were paid for by us, who are supposed to represent us. It is so shameful that they are afraid of a group of women, many of us seniors, who come from far because we have a, ma a very important message. Congresswoman Fox is the yes. chair of the Education <laughs> Committee. Right. She does not want to be educated. And so what we want to do is expose the lies that she votes on. That's not education. That doesn't help the public. Lies do not help us. Matter of fact, in the world, they make us look stupid. So that she believes in these lies, that she won't listen to what we have to share and she's chair of the education committee shame shame on her shame and that we've literally got pushed out of her office that's what's happening with the truth in the halls of congress we get pushed out of the office for sharing the truth here are some of the lies that virginia fox the chair of the education committee said Columbia University is a hotbed of anti-Semitism. Lies, lies. These students at the campuses are being funded by outsiders. Lies. Everyone's a volunteer. She accuses the officials at these universities who let the encampments go on of gross negligence. What a lie. And she then, must not know the Constitution since freedom of speech is very high up in the Constitution. And I must think. not know what well, universities like, they're supposed to be for, like which education. is for education. education. You know, as a Jewish person, I wanted to read something she said about Jews. Her religious beliefs, she said, inform her priorities. At a local church in North Carolina, she said, the people here believe that the Jews are God's chosen people. And I grew up in the Baptist church believing that. She says, the Bible says, if you bless the Jewish people, you will be blessed. If you curse the Jewish people, you will be cursed. And then she goes on to talk about the Jewish people as if they were the Israelis who are committing ethnic cleansing, who are committing genocide. Yes. She conflates the issues of Judaism with the issue of Zionism. Shame. And she Shame. says that if you are anti-Zionist, that you are anti-Semitic, and that you are cursing the Jewish people. Lies. Lies. He exposes her gross ignorance. Ignorance, absolute, absolute ignorance. ignorance. And prejudice. this is the woman who is head of the Education Committee in our Congress. Do you know, the North Carolina Constitution says that in addition to freedom of speech, we have not just the freedom, but the obligation to instruct our legislators. That's right up there in the Consti our Constitution. And we have come here to do our, our constitutional, not just our right, but our responsibility to instruct those who say they represent us. And she's from North Carolina. She is the prototype of a, an ignorant, biased, know-nothing, who holds office and is funded by the puppeteers who are pulling her strings. She doesn't represent the people of North Carolina. She doesn't represent me as a Jew. Oh, come, let's not ignore it. Oh, come, let's not ignore it. Oh, come, let's not ignore it.